Hi guys, I hope that I can do this quickly because I'm tired. I need to post this though. You know, there are so many still stuck in the matrix and it really is, uh, oh, I want to say shocking, but I guess it's not, that so many who were quote unquote awake seem to have been, uh, I don't know, thrown back into the matrix. Uh, the Trump supporters. And yeah, I'm going to say it. I do believe that you have been so duped, just like the Obama supporters, just like the Bush supporters, just like the Clinton supporters, just look, um, you've been lied to. Climate change, Still, people believe that Trump pulled us out of the Paris Climate Change Accord. That's what he told you. Our government, all our federal agencies are working on it. Now, before I get to the federal agencies, let me just... Um, it is so remarkable. This was just posted six hours ago. Well, a group of young Americans suing the federal government over lack of action to fight climate change can proceed with their lawsuit, but they can't name Trump as a defendant. This group of children, 21 children and young adults, between the ages of 18 and 19 years of age, it was filed back in 2015, and it's proceeding. Who got these 18 through 19 years of age children to file this lawsuit? Adults who have no problem, no problem exploiting children. It is truly disgusting. But children, oh, they, they tug at your heartstrings, right? So the adults see that these children are filing a lawsuit. Our government is not doing enough to give us a future on this planet. And if they don't do anything about climate change, then we have no future. Wow. The lies are really pretty intense. Did you know that a federal grant was provided to Puerto Rico for smart infrastructure? How'd they get that? Hmm? How did they get a grant for smart infrastructure if Trump pulled us out of the Paris climate change? Accord, and he's not going along with all of that crazy climate change green business. Well, he wants you to believe that he's not going along with it. He's playing his base. Globalchange.gov agencies, the following federal entities participate in the U.S. Global Change research program. And what's the global change? Well, climate change. Who uh, is involved or what agencies are involved? The Department of Agriculture, Department of Commerce, Department of Defense, Department of Energy, Department of Health and Human Services, Department of the Interior, Department of State, Department of Transportation, NASA, the EPA, National Science Foundation, Smithsonian Institution, and of course USAID, Agency for International Development, and you can throw in the US Department of Education because the texts now that children are reading are all uh, pro-climate change indoctrinating the young. The EPA, well, they have a EPA uh, on their website. This uh, climate change a adaptation 
resource center. Oh, the EPA puts on workshops. They put on workshops for communities and states. Uh, they send in scientists and those who are experts in green infrastructure. And they're all over the country. You can go to, let's see, implications of ch climate change. Um, the adaptation strategies, and there's a lot of them. Wow. Water, air, waste, public health, all strategies. Let's see, I went to water. Did I go to water? I think I went to water last night. Um, and oh, let me pause you for a sec. No, I went to all strategies. All strategies, wow. Purchase upland, development rights or property rights. Um, you just go through these strategies and you will see how connected they are to Agenda 2030. Um, allow coastal wetlands to migrate inland. Promote wetland accretion by introducing sediment. Prohibit hard shore protection. Remove hard protection or other barriers to tidal and uh, riverine flow, <laughs> riverine flow, tidal dike removals, incorporate wetland protection into infrastructure planning, transportation planning, sewer utilities. What is the hard protection? I actually had to do research on it. I didn't know what hard protection was. Coastal structures are frequently constructed, let's see, frequently constructed to prevent erosion of coastal landscapes and infrastructure and mitigate the risks to the populations and economic activities dependent on the coastal zone. Coastal structures sometimes refer to as hard structures are usually built using materials, at least for certain coasts and beaches, that do not form naturally, such as concrete, large armor, stone, steel, or timber, or relatively permanent, um, typically a 50-year design life, and are spatially fixed within an otherwise dynamic coastal zone. The most important hard structure types are dikes, levees, seawalls, break walls, groins, jetties. Well, guess what states have been doing? And I just checked out North Carolina and South Carolina. They have been passing legislation to prohibit those of you who live on the coast from placing any structures to protect your properties. No joke. No joke. They want you gone. So uh, if you just scroll down and read, you know, these um, these strategies that you will see that it's all about protecting wetlands, protecting uh, wildlife, and not protecting you, not protecting humans and purchasing land so that nobody can build on it. What is this? Well, federal funding and technical assistance for climate adaptation. The EPA recommends a whole list of sources where local community governments 
and state governments can get money to build that green infrastructure, raise taxes, property, sales taxes, income levies. In other words, get it from the people. Fees, such as charges for inspections and permits, ah, state and federal grants, bonds, loans, public and private partnerships. Do you get that this is during the Trump years? I do want to remind, I, I posted a video on this on Kafka Winston World. 2015, EPA spends 84000 to study churches that preach climate change researchers to develop workshops for faith leaders to implement sustainability initiatives within their congregations. Yes, government aligning with church. No separation of church and government, that's for sure. Um, 2015, you think the EPA just stopped doing this when Trump came in? No. No. It's still rolling along. And in fact, the EPA does hold workshops throughout the country. Federal collaborations addressing climate change and water. Executive initiatives, meaning executive branch. And who is in the executive branch? None other than your president. So they're talking about a report that was updated from 2011. This report updates a 2011 National Action Plan. It addresses ways to build resilience to climate change for all. It's not just water resources, it's air. It's all the strategies. Um, 14 federal agencies were involved in developing this report and are undertaking efforts to build the nation's preparedness to extreme events. Are you getting it? It's still going on. Energy, the Department of Energy's website, climate change. As global temperatures rise, wildfires, drought, and high electricity demand put stress on the nation's energy infrastructure. And severe weather, the leading cause of power outages and fuel supply disruption in the United States, is projected to worsen. So, to fight climate change, the Energy Department supports research and innovation that makes fossil energy technologies cleaner and less harmful to the people and the environment, we're taking responsible steps to cut carbon pollution, develop domestic renewable energy production, and win the global race for clean energy innovation. We're also working dramatically, too dramatically, increase the efficiency of appliances, homes, businesses, and vehicles. Please, if you are a supporter of Trump, do not simply allow your brain to go confirmation bias. I'm going to knock out all of this information because I want to believe Trump is making America great again. Because you really I'm sorry to say this, but you do make yourself a useful idiot. Federal Action on Climate. The Center for Climate and Energy Solutions. We've got the Department of Defense. Oh, isn't Trump the commander in chief? <sighs> Effective federal policy is needed to achieve deep long-term reductions in U.S. greenhouse gas emissions and to help strengthen climate resilience. And 
you go through these. It's not uh, here, Department of Transportation, Department of Defense, Energy Policy, uh, Environmental uh, Protection Agency. Here it says many of the climate measures adopted by the Obama administration are under review and may be reversed by the Trump administration. They were not reversed. As you can see, our energy departments are on it. I mean, our federal agencies are on it. Um, but I do want you to check out, is this where it is? No. Okay, decarbonizing U.S. power. They have, um, oh, where is it? Here. Their newsroom. And these are recent articles, 2018 articles. House Republicans. Um, praising House Republicans for their legislation on carbon pricing. Uh, Jeff Bobeck talks to the Houston Chronicle about promising moves of Republicans on climate change. Uh, guys, we do not have two parties. We do not have two parties. We have no parties. We have puppets in all of our governments who are taking the United Nations plans and implementing them People are still asking, well, who is directing all of these people? Rothschild, Rockefeller are the two families that are steering all of our organizations, NGOs, governments, to implement the climate change plan, which is connected to Agenda 2030 and transforming the world, and also to it's a it's a means of uh, wealth distribution will all be equal, but this is the Scottish government climate change plan. 2018 to 2032. I just included this for my Scottish, for my Scots. It's all continuing. So as you sit back and wait for those arrests that QAnon is telling you, it's soon, it's, well, You've been told that now for about two years. Whether that comes true, do you think all of this is going to stop? No, it won't. So, just wanted to point out one more time. The guy you think who's sitting in the White House, who's fighting the deep state, is lying. That's it. He's lying. 